Hello, I'm just going to show you how to make this um, pop-up card. It's on an 8x8 card. It all folds flat to fit into an envelope. And then when you open it up, there's your pop-out. It's very pretty. Okay, so just put that to one side. The paper collection I used on this card is from the paper boat boutique and it's called floral waves but once i've shown you how to do the measurements then you can use any paper collection so to get started we need our scoreboard and an eight by eight card so we're using the actual card's score line so we'll place that up against the base and then from the center score line we score at four centimeters and turn it over and do exactly the same on the other side at four centimeters and then with this we fold the cards away from us and the same on the other side And that's where we get our center fold. Just re score it so it all stays flat. So that's the main part of our 8x8 card. We do need the scoreboard again in a second, but first we're just going to add some ribbon to the front and the back of our 8x8 card. I knew my glue wouldn't work. There you go. So, let's glue some ribbon onto the front and flip it over and do the same on the back. Just trying to get my card roughly straight on my grid line. So I can get the ribbon in the same, right about the same place. Okay, so that's our, our main card. Just put that out of the way. Next, you need your scoreboard back again. So this time we need two pieces of, of card. Uh, these two measure 13 centimetres by 15 centimetres. So along the 13 cent sorry, 15 centimetre line. So we're going to score this at 2 centimetres. Go along to 12 centimetres. Score at 12 centimetres. And then score at 14 centimetres. Do this for both of the pieces of the card. And then just fold our score lines. And this makes a pop up inside part of the card. So, as you can see, there's the fold. So, it actually goes that way around. So, that's on the um, centerpiece. And then that pops up. And do the next one. So basically to make this pop-up card then, all you need is your 8x8 card. Just open this up. And then these two pieces will then fit in there. So it's quite easy, quite simple to make. Um, but So you can use any paper kit, but like I said, for this one I'm using floral waves. I have all my pieces cut out ready. So we have the front part of our card with some decoupage. 
And I'm bound to get all these mixed up because that's my <laughs> centre part, those bits. And then we have our inside bits and the back part. So let's just attach these together. Um, to probably should give you the measurements. So this colour card is 19.5 um, centimetres by 15.5 centimetres and this is an insert that I've used here and this is 19 centimetres by 15 centimetres. Okay, so that's the front, and then same measurements for the back part. I need this. Maybe we should start using new glue and not our half empty glue for these tutorials. Come on. No, definitely does not want to come out. Sorry about this. There we go. Hopefully it will behave itself for the rest of the tutorial. Bring our card back. So this is the front part. Yeah, that does will hold um, give the ribbon a bit extra support. the ribbon in place more. Yeah. That's the front. Make sure we get it the right way around. Leave that in place. Okay. So um, this part is the place where you're going, going to need to write your message because, of course, all the insides follow the pop-up card. On the one I did earlier, um, I've actually cut a square piece out and also decorated the back, but I don't think I've cut them out for this one. But you can do that, or you could leave it like that, and then just write your message on there. So let's turn this back over. And I know too, I have, <coughs> excuse me, a sentiment somewhere for the front. And, okay, I guess it will turn up. So... I've used the same insert again and cut around the seal and some of the flowers. I'm just going to frame pad this. around so I can get it in the right place. There okay. That gives some height to our card. 
And I'll just put that over there to dry for one minute and I'll bring in our inside parts. Again, the inside parts are the same as the outside. So you're looking at 19.5 centimeters by 15.5 centimeters for a color card. And I've used an in another insert and this is 19 centimeters by 15 centimeters. Wiping off my excess glue. So those two, and then you need two more strips, and these measure uh, 19 and a half centimeters by 3.5. And I've not done an extra layer for these. Just going to keep them with the color card. So bring our card back in. We have them, that's right, just want to get them the right way around. So, attach this to the inside. So, I'm just going to turn that around to make sure we're level. those pieces and then these strips are just going on our center there. I mean, you can mat and lay this part if you want to. Let's get some of this. There you go. There's our inside. We'll put that to one side until we need that again. Now, we do our pop up bits. Uh, I've got pieces cut out ready. I can't for life and remember how I had them, but don't mind. So, for these inside bits, then, um, so we've already got these ready. So, the coloured card is 12.5 centimetres by 9.5 centimetres. So, and the paper is 12 centimetres by 9 centimetres. So we'll just put that together. And we also have another strip. And I seem to have misplaced one of them. I didn't want 
my bag. Nope. Okay, well. Um, I'll have to cut another one of these out after, but you'll need two of these. And these are the um, 12 and a half centimetres um, by one, yeah, by one and a half centimetres. And these are just for these edgings there. But I have seen to have not cut one or misplaced it somewhere. Oh. I'll have to add that on after. So this strip, did you get it right? So the one fold goes into the centre of the card and the two fold is your out, outside. So just because it's going to be seen, just going to put a piece of colour card on there. See you in. So I've just put the foam pad on part, on the centre of the seal, and then attach glue to the rest. I don't know if you can see, it gives it a bit of a rise, just in the centre. And then our flower. It doesn't matter if this overhangs slightly because you've got your um, a 8x8 eight eight card that it's going to sit on too. So that one just going to peek over the edge there. That's one. That'll be our next one in. Just make sure you have it the opposite way round to this one. So your two, your double fold is on your right side. And don't forget the green strip like I did. Quite annoyed with myself that I've done that. Anyway, next I'm bringing in one of the square toppers. And I've just made a, um, a light green mat for the back. I think the mat lay was eight, yeah, eight point five centimeters by eight point five centimeters for the mat topper. So just place that on there. And then I actually wasted another topper and cut out the flower, the flowers. So just make sure. Get these in the right place. I just wanted to add some depth, and I like to decoupage anyway. <coughs> 
yeah I mean you don't have to do this because you are wasting another topper but I just think it adds some depth and then we have our dolphin I should say the dolphin and the seal and even the flower these are both toppers from the embellishment pad I've just cut them out and then I think we'll just have the dolphin hooping it in the right place for when it all falls down so there's our two um, pop out bits for the inside so bring our card back in again so we start with the right so first of all add glue to that bit and then that sticks to this side just have to roughly see where you want it it doesn't have to be straight it's entirely up to you and then and then just fold it down just hold it down for a few minutes because otherwise we all upset it when we attach the other part and it's not going to move so remember this part should be have some color card on it so the um, small, the thinner tab, just add some glue to that. Again, bend it over and then place it all down. And then hold that down for a little while. And if you want it to attach straight away, then I would use some. Um, uh, tape there you go and then when you open that up again as you can see that's now in place and we are next part in there's some glue to there and then try and get about level and then but again you need to fold it this way so fold it down let's just get that level again moved it because what happens here is that this needs to all close so when you think you've got it in place fold it down and then bring the whole card hold what the front of the card and just hold that down for a little while So you open that back up again. There you go. Same with this. Add glue to the smaller, the smaller um, part of the other card, the small tab. Bend it down. Close it up. And the easiest thing is just to bring the front of your card across. And hold that down slightly. And you open that up. There you go. There's your pop up card. Okay, didn't hold the glue down enough, <laughs> long enough. But I shall put this to one side to dry. Go and cut my extra bean, green part off out that I didn't do. And so I can attach it back onto there. Uh, yeah, but there you go. Um, so you can decoupage it as much as you like, use any paper kit, but at least you've got the front part of the video to how to make this fold and then 
this fold as you see it really is quite easy to do the um, longest part is actually deciding what papers to use and how you're going to decoupage them so, which I'll bring this other card in that I actually did finish properly and managed to get a sentiment for so sentiment my use the um, turtle on this one again I've decoupaged the front and the back I have cut the shark out and you've got a square there to, um, to write your message and open it up and you've done the same there um, insert there some color card there and then my pop-up pieces there that have also decoupaged the sentiment the same there's our two cards this one as we know needs finishing because I didn't cut all my pieces out um, but even though I've used two different colors so uh, they're really pretty pretty cards and it's a surprise when someone opens them that they're getting an extra not just a message I hope you enjoy my video and I hope you enjoy making this card too thank you for watching